Welcome to my beautiful channel. Today we are going to discuss 10 signs he's just not that into you. Now this is an experience I recently had just this past week that I hate to admit. I really hate to admit when I get off track with my, you know, self-improvement and my single journey of like just going after my goals and dreams. But this happens. It's a learning experience. Sometimes we get lonely. Um, sometimes we just want somebody there for us and we get off track or we, we become the chaser and um, <laughs> go after guys that aren't really into us or we like the bad boy type or things of that nature. But I am going to start with number one. You're always reaching out to him first. So this is a huge red flag that a guy doesn't like you. Maybe even he gave you his number and maybe he told you, oh, hit me up whenever. That is red flag number one. This is like fuckboy-ology. <laughs> um, number one is just you always reach out to him first. You either call or text him first or you're always the one that's like, hey, let's meet up here. And that's that. Like he doesn't really give you anything to work with. Um, and a lot of us can get caught up in this idea of being hopeful. Well, maybe he's just busy. Um, maybe, you know, he has a lot to do. Or maybe he likes me, but he doesn't know how to express it. If a guy really likes you, he will express it. He will make it known. He will go out his way to tell you that he likes you, to ask you out on a date, and to reach out to you first. That's a huge flag. If a guy doesn't call you, or maybe he texts all the time even, if he doesn't make an effort to come see you in person even, <laughs> then that guy does not like you. Now, number two is he, uh, well, he basically doesn't text or call. That goes in with the, the first one. Number one was you, you, you know, you always reach out first. Number two was he doesn't text or call you. Number three is he ignores when, he ignores you when he's with his friends. So maybe you met a guy, um, and you always, like, maybe you met this guy and you met him in a group setting. Maybe he's a mutual friend. Um, this guy, <laughs> if he ignores you when he's with his friends, but he's all lovey-dovey and cutesy and all up on you when you're one-on-one, uh, -on -one, that is a huge red flag because he's giving you mixed signals. He doesn't, he, he doesn't really care for you. He kind of just wants to lead you on. He wants someone just there when he wants you. And that's it. That's a whole that's a whole nother, you know, fuckboy sign that a guy is not interested in you. He leads you on, he gives you mixed signals. If a guy really liked you, he would not give you mixed signals. He will be direct and straightforward to you. He will be honest and he will treat you with respect in all settings. And definitely around like your friends and family. Um the, this is a sign that a guy doesn't respect you, is that he ignores you when he's with uh his friends. Now, number four is he buys you nothing. So let's say you do go on a date with this guy that you like, <laughs> and um, the date is very dry. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be a gold digger or anything, but guys who like girls, they express it with, uh, you know, in ways that they can, which is a lot of times monetary, like the provider. If it's a real guy, he will buy you something. So it's more than just like a cup of water or like, you know, something from the corner store. Um, he will actually make it make go out his way to set up a date that's you know representable and that's uh shows how much he views your worth so this is another sign of if this guy takes you to mcdonald's <laughs> or if he takes you somewhere like cheap or he doesn't spend money on you at all that shows where he views you as far as um on the timeline of his priorities and things of that nature and how he views your worth and if you take it and you keep continuing to hang out with this guy, this shows how much you feel like you're worth. So don't do that. <laughs> Number five is he's rude to you in general. So a lot of times as women, I know for myself, we've been taught like, oh, if a guy treats you bad, if he's bullies you, he's mean to you, that means he likes you. And that's something that we really have to get out of our head in this society or we'll be lost <laughs> and we'll be unhappy forever. This is how people get in marriages that are like horrible. On guy in the on the guy end of a spectrum too, but when he's rude to you in general, that's another thing. Like when he treats you in front of everyone else, the way he treats you just um, in general, if it's not because he likes you, it's literally he's just, like if he shows you this, he's being rude, then he's really being rude. Basically, that we have to keep that in mind. Like people treat you how you know they really feel. Um, we shouldn't just cross that red flag. I mean that uh, let that red flag go past so easily. Now, the next one is, 
Number six, he is very self-serving. So now let's say you're in a situation where you have a friend with benefits or you're just thinking about getting intimate with someone. This is just an example because he can be self-serving in many ways, but I'm just using sex as an, as an example. Um, he's always like me first. Like he, you know, make sure he's pleased first and he doesn't finish <laughs> like uh, wants you to get off or he doesn't want you to be like he doesn't check on you and be like are you good you know you're good you need this you need anything um that is not the guy for you he's really not that into you he's really just thinking about getting what he came to get and dipping so that's just a huge number an another sign that uh if a guy is self-serving he's just not that into you because the guy that likes you, he'll be more like, oh, what do you need? Do you need this? I got you. I got you, babe. <laughs> and all of that. Um, all right. So the next one, number seven, is he doesn't share with you in depth. So maybe, like I said, this goes back into like the texting and calling thing. Now, if your conversations are always blunt and straight to the point and um, you, you're, think, you're trying to dive into him, like, what, you know, what are you like? I'm curious about you. And if he doesn't give you nothing to work with, like he's not curious into asking you in detail questions, then he's not that into you. He thinks you're just like, you know, <laughs> it's whatever. Like, like yeah, I got this girl trying to holler at me and learn about me, but he's not giving you the same. It has to be 50-50. You have to make sure you're getting the same thing you put in. So basically, he's not that into you if he's not trying to get to know you. Everything is always just on the surface. Like, hey, what's up? That gotta go. <laughs> And number eight is short reply. So that goes hand in hand with everything else Else I was saying. He just, every time, if he does message you, it's every blue moon. And when it's every blue moon, it's like short and to the point and like cuts you off. Like, um, a lot of girls think that, okay, if the guy just texts you back in general, he likes you. But that's not the case. He's just like replying just to reply, which I don't know why a lot of fuckboys do that. They just do. <laughs> now, number nine is... Um, he gives you no affection, or if he does, he pushes, like, if you give him affection, he pushes you off of him. So this is, like, fuckboy, oh my god, like, a thousand, like, super saiyan fuckboy. Um, a lot of, a lot of, uh, these kind of guys, they don't, they, they, they like the attention, but they, they want to lead you on more so. They're, they're all about playing games. So, they, they allow you to come on to them, and then once you come on, like, too strong, per se, or, like, you're all up on them, then they push you away. It's like they lower you in and push you away. That's the mixed signal thing I was talking about again. But if they push you off them and they don't want affection, that means he's just not that into you. He's more so about playing games, playing with your head, and, um, you know, self-pleasing himself. Like, his ego is like, well, I can, I can control this girl. That's more so what he's concerned about. Now, number 10 is he goes ghost without explanation and wants you back when you ignore him. So this is another thing that girls mess up on is you may know all these signs that a guy is a fuckboy or he's not that into you. But you, <laughs> so you cut him off and then for a while he'll come back, which they always come back. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. <laughs> um, but this is where you have to stand your ground because... Uh, they come back and they think that, oh, well, you know, what happened? She just left. She just did because they missed they missed the attention you were giving them, which all which all men do because they realize that they can't get that everywhere. But this is where you have to be strong and not fall into that trap again. But sure enough, he will be back with the same bullshit. And so that's number 10 of how, he, you know, he's not the one for you. He goes ghost without explanation. He doesn't even care to tell you. Even if a guy is busy, he will tell you he's busy. Like, like don't just assume, like, oh, he's just busy, he has shit to do. Because, no, if a guy cares about you, he will tell you what's up. He will tell you, well, this is what my schedule is like. This is what I got to do this day. If I'm not speaking to you, this is what's happening. Shit, I had a funeral. Shit, I have work today. Shit, I have this hustle to do. Shit, I have, you know what I mean? They'll make some kind of time for you if you're in his priority list. But, yeah, those are 10 signs that a guy is just not that into you. And yeah, I hope this helps someone and peace.